Well, hello, everybody. I promise this is a quick and easy fall decor creation. I'm starting with these three wooden leaves that have the bark on the back. I purchased them from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack of three in the fall section of the store. I didn't like the raw wood on the sides and I wanted to not really have it show up a lot so I am blending two things together weathered wood antiquing gel from Heritage Traditions Paint Heritage, Heritage Traditions Paint that's kind of hard to say and just some dark color wash tint that I purchased from Hobby Lobby using those two and water when it dries out it's it, it pretty much has the same coloring as the bark which is what I wanted Next, I just used that same color wash tint to uh, tint the flat side, the raw wood side there. Um, because it was raw wood and just a color wash tint, it really, the wood really soaked it up. So I ended up doing two coats because I want this, I needed this uh, first layer to be fairly dark. After the color wash was completely dry, that's very important, you want to make sure it is dry. I'm applying Pentart's One Component Crackle Medium. Now I want to say a couple things here. Normally with the Pentart Crackle Medium, you are applying between two layers of paint. Um, I actually used this in the Christmas video last year, Bobbles and Bits if you want to see what it does between two layers of paint. Now, here's the deal. This is not going to crack a whole lot because I did not put a sealer on prior to applying the Crackle Medium product. I knew it was going to do that and that was the look I was going for. Just kind of this old world, barely cracked in spots uh, look and you'll see after this dries and I apply the paint it's just going to be a very light crackle finish so if you want bigger cracks apply a sealer or use paint as your base coat I've set the leaves aside to dry and I'm moving on to my next step I'm calling this little project a door hanger but actually, I think it would look really gorgeous just hanging from a doorknob or even say if you have a set of stairs uh, from the end of a set of stairs on the railing, it would look gorgeous. Well, to do that, I wanted to also add some little charms. Um, eventually, when I have make the bow and all of that, I wanted something hanging from it. So using the classic elements mold from iron orchid designs and some two-part resin this is the quick resin that dries in about 10 minutes i am going to pour a couple of the acorns and then um, off to the side i have a really tiny little pine cone mold that i got from amazon i'll put the link in the description box below but i want these to be relatively 3d so you're going to see me pour once remove those and then um, add a little hanger when I pour the second time and place the hardened first set on top of the wet set to create more of a 3D little charm.
The little pine cone mold was not a symmetrical mold, but because of its shape, I felt like it would probably do okay trying to make it into a 3D object, which I think it did. I did over pour a little bit with the resin. That's something to, well, be aware of if you're doing something like this is, you know, your first time you pour, you want it to be really full. But then that second time, um, I'd say just slightly maybe below the rim so that you don't have it squish out and have to trim like I'm doing. But with resin, not only can you trim it, but you can see here, you can also sand it. I used an emery board to smooth those edges down, which worked perfectly. Now that the crackle medium is dry, I'm going to apply my paints. Um, if you look at the leaves, it, it actually doesn't look dry. Well, the crackle medium dries shiny. So you can see there, there's some areas that are shiny and some areas that are dull. And those dull areas, the crackle medium just soaked into the wood. Again, because I had not applied a sealer, and that was purposeful. I'm using two colors here of just basic folk art acrylic paint. I think one's called linen, and the other is like a latte or an iced coffee, something like that. And I'm just kind of loading my brush with uh, both paint colors and just kind of blending a little bit. I kind of wanted a striated look. You can see here how I'm applying that, just going back and forth. I'm going to stop talking now, <laughs> and I will uh, do some close-ups uh, so that you can see the very small but beautiful cracks that I got. You may have guessed already that I'm going to be using the Holly Glen transfer on these leaves, which is a beautiful product from the latest IOD holiday collection. Now, anytime that you apply a transfer, it is best to use a sealer both under the transfer and over the transfer. So, I am going to be using Polyvine's Dead Flat Varnish. I don't want any sheen level on this. Um, I think the Polyvine Dead Flat is going to look the best with these leaves. I mean, it's very rustic, so no shine for me.
While the top coat is drying on the leaves, I'm moving back to the little charms. And I'm using a specialty product. It is by Ranger, which I believe is, you know, Tim Holtz brand. It is Foundry Wax, a distressed wax in the color statue, which is a beautiful gold. The thing about this product is it really gives the look of a dipped metallic. Now, a couple things about it. You have to work fairly quickly. Don't pour out too much because this product dries super fast. The other thing about it is that to activate the metallic feature, you need to use heat. Um, now I don't know if a hair dryer would work, maybe if you had a really hot one. I used my heat gun. Uh, there were a couple little spots that I missed. I mean, the coverage is pretty good, even over the white resin here. But uh, I noticed after I dried it, I went back with a little bit more of the product, uh, tapped that on, and while wet even, uh, better when it's wet, I applied my heat gun again to get some full coverage.
Got the white knuckles home.